Hey guys, it's your boy Vibhag back with more Maul Feature Bite content and today I present you which I do think is a top notch contender to be the best tier 3 character or the most powerful, the strongest, one of the most strongest characters in the game for World Boss Legend and I'm talking Doctor Doom level, maybe even better, maybe even better, at least in World Boss Legend, let's see why she is, she's She's the real goddess, man. She's a real goddess. And you will see the results and you will also see the same thing. For the build, let's see the build, okay? We got everything maxed out, basically. The critical damage will be ma Well, it's like 0.1 something remaining. All the other stuff, attack speed, critical rate, will be maxed out with the skills. Urus, we got... What is Uru? We don't have any Urus on this girl. We have critical rate. All skills are level 6. Tab enhancement rank 4. We have Hawkeye stage 6 set. No artifact, we have a lightning damage, dodge, 180% damage proc obelisk. And then we have a mythic uniform with these uniform options, Hyperion. We have Star Lord Grounded, Bullseye, Dark Avengers, President Loki, as well as Cable and Netpool. Awesome uniform options. Now let's take a look at the skills. Oh my god, I love the skills. The fifth skill is instant cancelable. You can do that. If you let the fifth skill run, it do also does some damage, but it's also instant cancelable. Third skill, you can cancel right here. After Thor, the Mjolnir actually comes down. You can get the damage on the other skills. Fifth, uh, the fourth skill is the most damage dealing skill in her kit, except for the tier 3 skill. The tier 3 skill does more damage than the fifth skill because it also has the proc. So the rotation will be three cancel. 5-4, we get the proc on the 4th skill, I tried the proc on the 5th, it does more damage on the 4th skill, then 2nd skill, and then 2nd rotation, 4 cancel 3, 5 tier 3, this is where you get the proc on the tier 3 skill, so we will do 2 rotations, the proc will be on 4th skill, for the first one, 3 cancel 4, 5 cancel 4, and for the second one, the proc will be on the tier 3 skill, the tier 3 skill does have one issue though, in the end, it can trigger your next proc after that, so that's a bit of a let down but that's all right for the cards we got 145 percent energy attack of course the 25 percent peers but honestly um, like i don't think a lot of characters actually even matches her might and she's insane she's a freaking mighty thor let's check out what she can do in world boss legend let's decimate Alright, our first target, stage 29, uh, null, okay, let's see the damage from the 4th skill. And we got the guard broken, she can do freaking 10 bars of damage at stage 29 with this build, for now. Anyways, uh, let's go for the, I, I did make a mistake here, I should have gone with the other skill, but anyways, we got the proc and, look at that, <laughs> look at that beauty. That's a, I, uh, I mistakenly did that and I did that on purpose actually because I wanted to get uh, the other skills off before I can use the tier 3 skill on this thing but we will not even need the tier 3 skill because it's done. It's done. 421 and we are down to the 30th bar for null and see what we can do now. Okay, I'm gonna go 3 cancel, 5, 4, uh, tier 3 skill and yeah tier 3 skill takes that 8 bars remaining for 20 second bar and we are down to this bar now which is insane i love this thing okay she, she's incredible man she's literally incredible i love how how damage how good her damage is now and she's of course consistent at least with the cdp of energy procs and look at that she's doing insanely good and now i think i'm gonna use a tier 3 skill yeah, I'm gonna use a tier 3 skill here. And let's get him down to the freaking 7th bar. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? And look at this thing. 340. We still have 20 seconds remaining for the 100 second clear. And this was... I felt really bad. The proc did not activate. Look at that. The proc did not activate at all. We could have gotten it down faster than you can actually think about. Anyways. We still have 5 bars to go. I'm gonna go for 3... Right there, 3 cancel, 5, 4, tier 3 skill, we get the proc a bit late and then still 321, a 99 second clear on stage 29. She is incredible. Okay, moving towards the next target, Mephisto stage 20, uh, sorry, 34. That's the high stage, okay? Uh, that was the highest I could use her for now. She doesn't have leadership actually. So I can't really use her on higher stages. Although she will be in, uh, incredibly insane on other stages as well. This is where I started using the 4 cancel 3-5 tier 3. And it works a bit better. 
we broke the shield in 20 seconds <laughs> we broke the freaking shield in 20 seconds with the 180 percent proc obelisk <laughs> she's incredible i like it and look at that uh, i have a fire resist striker so i'm gonna freaking tank this thing i'm gonna freaking tank this thing gonna get that damage and i'm gonna keep pressing that thing because i i'll have to i could have died i could have died there like that was a risk worth taking though but i just i like it man i like it when this happens so i'm gonna go here and now five cancel four get some nice chunk of damage he could die but she did not die which is insane and now he's gonna go we have the six bars remaining sadly uh it will not be a hundred second clear because of this phase so this phase wasted about like 10 seconds of my run and because of that we will not be able to get the 100 second clear on this stage which is kind of bad but I'm just gonna use the normal skill I'm not gonna waste the tier 3 skill here because the normal skill is enough to get enough damage for uh, her to just literally decimate this thing which is pretty awesome so we have him down here on the second phase tier 3 skill charges up does insane damage i love this thing and now this is what i'm talking about you can and uh, the tier 3 skill actually can activate your next proc which kind of sucks when you go to mephisto the highest stage of mephisto that's why i do think that my maybe judgment might just be a better idea to go for but she's insanely strong so I do think even with the damage proc obelisk something, she's gonna work incredibly good. We're gonna go for the tier 3 skill rotation once again. And yeah, look at that. It's it's done. It's done. 3-4. 116 second clear. She can clear with this build. 100 second clear. She can do that on 34. Like, ISOs are not even finished, man. No Urus. Ultron stage 24. How many characters can do Ultron stage 24 with a damage proc. Now, come on, tell me. Like, I don't think there is, <laughs> I don't know if there are any, any good character that can do that. But man, this was so, she's so strong. I miss, like this was not the perfect run. Even after all those iframes, all those weird things happening, we were still able to do something good which was nice anyways she's gonna move i'm gonna use all of my skills here because i know he's gonna go for this phase so i just had to use my skills now i'm just gonna do one attack i'm gonna switch to valkyrie maybe i guess yes i'm gonna switch to valkyrie or wave use the uh, six skill just to get him down because we, we are not really doing damage we're just getting him down to the second phase or just uh, stopping him from attacking four cancel three five cancel tier three and look at that the damage on ultron stage 24 is still better than most of the stacked build characters in this game with the energy or rage uh i don't know man <laughs> she's incredible i like it i like it and i like it 22 bars remaining so she's a bit uh, for ultron ultron actually gives her a trouble because of all the iframes you have to uh, make sure that you don't use the tier 3 skill when he's gonna move because if you do that you might just lose a lot of stuff You know a lot of damage. So I don't like it, but that's how it is. Anyways We're gonna go for we're gonna spam the 3 4 5 just so that we can have the tier 3 skill available for the next rotation whenever he comes out So let's see. Let's wait. We got one two of these purple three purple four purple and we are done now I can go four cancel three five cancel tier three skill and get the proc once again so she's very strong she's reliable and you can see she's easier to play as well uh the tier three skill again triggered the proc later on but that's all right he was gonna go for this phase anyways but it kind of sucks but you can't really do anything right about this thing i just used it like instant cancel that was a big mistake but i had to do that because he was gonna go to this phase now i'm just gonna use valkyrie use the transcend skill to get to the uh like get them stuck get through this phase because jane foster could die there four cancel three go into five cancel tier three skill get a beautiful proc she's very consistent at least with the damage proc obelisk and we are down to the 12th bar we still have two and a half minutes remaining so we have plenty of time and i just made a big mistake here i just used these skills so i'm not sure i, I made a big big mistake here i literally screwed the whole rotation and it could have been a lot lot more faster but it's not i'm gonna go for the tier 3 skill now she's gonna take damage but we should be able to get him down to the eighth bar i guess yep we got him down to the eighth bar so which is pretty nice now the proc does activate although i'm just gonna hold out a bit, just a bit more now i'm gonna go three cancel 
5 candle 4 get some damage on the normal skill and we are down to the 6th bar now he's gonna go to that phase uh, in a bit of course and uh, we should be I think yeah this is where he goes to the phase so I'm just gonna use one skill and then I'm probably gonna switch to wave or valkyrie do the exact same thing do the transcend skill transcend skill is an iframe whole iframe so it does help out clearing this uh, thing and now we're back four cancel three five cancel tier three skill and we got the proc and look at that this is an easy clear like literally she was easier than most of the characters i play she's probably easier than even playing tier 3 level 80 iron man because he has long iframes and because jane only has long iframe on the tier 3 skill you can literally position her well and you will be able to get a lot of damage you will be able to clear those high stages for you as well which is very very impressive with this build now i did make one big mistake here okay i went with this rotation I could have easily cleared this run, two bars remaining, I made this mistake, I did not switch and I got caught in this thing. She can do stage 24 with the obelisk with that build. Incredible. So, what would you guys like to say or like let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of this girl? Freaking stage 29 null under 100 seconds. She can do stage 34 Mephisto under 100 seconds and she can do stage 24 Ultron with this obelisk, not just the obelisk, no artifact, ISO, tab enhancement still can be better but that doesn't really matter. No ruse, come on man, it cannot get better than this. I'd wonder if she will be better with a judgment or maybe a CDP of energy. She is so well suited, I mean, she does have the delay on the third skill, maybe you might, uh, you will be wasting some of your strike proc or the beatdown proc, but she is going to be incredibly strong with those proc CDPs, like uh, destruction, mighty, or maybe energy or mighty energy. D judgment also, I do think, might just be the best case scenario, but man, the performance with this thing tells us something special about this girl and she's incredibly strong let me know in the comment section what do you think about the video let me know what you think about jane freaking foster i will be trying her in abx and squad battle i'll try to do a comparison with wanda if i can but man she's strong af 10 out of 10 for this uniform incredible rework incredible character the mighty thor the goddess of thunder is here and as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.